Do you want to sound like a fashionista? This video is for you because in this video, I'm going to introduce you to a few terms related to fashion, which are really popular these days, really trending. And we'll start with a very basic word that you must know, which is apparel. Now, apparel is just a formal way of saying clothing. So in case if you're in a formal setting, you can use the word apparel instead of clothing. And then moving on to the second word, it is a color scheme and that is monochrome or monochromatic outfits. Now, monochrome is a color scheme that involves just a single color, but different shades of a single color. So you say you're wearing a monochromatic outfit when you're wearing a single color from head to toe, which is again a trending uh, popular style these days. So in case you want to dress in a monochromatic outfit, you have to go for just a single color from head to toe. And then we have another color scheme, which is achromatic. Now, achromatic is also a color scheme that involves colors like black, gray and white. So just neutral colors. And again, if you look at monochromat uh, monochromatic, the word mono means single and chromatic means color and achromatic means no color, literally. So achromatic deals with very um, neutral colors like black white and gray as well uh, and monochromatic deals with uh, a single color but different shades of any color any single color then we have the next word which is pastel pastel is also like you know a word that is used in order to describe very soft shades of a particular color say baby pink and all of that those are called pastel colors i have heard a lot of people mispronounce and say it as uh, pastel Pastel is wrong. It's not pastel, it's pastel. It's pastel colors and not pastel colors. And then the next one is nude shades. Now, again, if you look at nude shades, those are shades that resemble the skin tones. So all the colors that resemble the skin tones are called nude shades. So you might already know about nude lipsticks and nude uh, mules or nude nail paints. So these are nude shades. So skin color, uh, the shades that resemble the skin color are called nude shades. And the next word is knitwear. This is a word that you might see when you're online shopping and it might come under one category. So next time you see knitwear as a category, you must understand it's like all the clothing with knits on it, like say uh, a knit of wool or yarn. An example can be a sweater. So those sort of clothes with knitting on it uh, that has got knits on it are called a knitwear. And I love those, uh, you know, ripped pants that come, uh, like those trending, colorful, ripped uh, knitwear pants. I love those. Now, moving on to the next one, which is checkered pants, checkered tops. Now, checkered as a pattern, like checks as a pattern. Now, checks mean, I think you might be already knowing about checks because it's been there forever. Like everybody wears it and it's almost, you know, like it's timeless. And checkered tops or checkered uh, apparel means the uh, top or any apparel that has got checks on it. And similarly, we have two other patterns that usually come on clothes, one being polka dots and one being chevron. Now, chevron, I think it's outdated. It's It's been there. It was trending a few years back. Chevron is a pattern where you have a lot of Vs and polka dots are patterns with a lot of dots and arranged in a particular way. Now, polka dots can be pronounced as polka dots as well as polka dots. I prefer saying polka dots over polka dots. I think that's more easier as well to say. And chevron again is pronounced as chevron and not as chevron because it's ch. It's chevron, uh, checkered, chevron, and polka dots. So these are three different patterns you might see on your clothing. That's it for this video. I really hope this video was helpful and I really hope you're able to navigate exactly the same dress that you have in your mind when you're online shopping next time. And uh, in case if you want to know more about the course that we provide at English House, you can go ahead and click on the link below. Thank you so much for watching. English House. English at your fingertips.